Hey guys, so another week, another vlog. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff to talk about today. Um, the beginning of the week, first few days uh, were a little slow, but towards the end I managed to start to uh, get some more time in the game, starting to move along a bit better. Last week, even though I wasn't planning on doing it, I accidentally slipped the name of the game, and in case you didn't catch it, the name of my game is Rotate. It's a, as I've mentioned before, it's a web-based puzzle platformer, so the game uses a tile-based system, kind of like Mario or games like that, you probably know what I mean. And it's based around the simple game mechanic that you can rotate the world, which leads to some interesting puzzles and creates some interesting situations. So I've got the basis of the engine for that in place, uh, but there are some things that I'm working on upgrading because they're kind of hacked together originally. Uh, but what I want to talk about this time is not so much details about the game specifically, but more about the technical details of how I'm making the game. So, as I've mentioned, it's a web-based game, but I don't know if I've made it clear, but it's actually not a Flash game. I'm using the more modern technologies, HTML5, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Now this one's going to get a bit more technical, so people that uh, aren't working with this kind of stuff might get a little lost in this. Okay, since it is an HTML5 game, obviously it needs to be programmed in JavaScript. Well, as you may know, if you've worked with JavaScript, it's not exactly the... At least the currently supported standards aren't exactly the most user-friendly to work with on big projects and stuff. It gets a little hectic trying to manage it just because of the nature of how uh, these versions of JavaScript work. Now, the newer standards, that's great and all, they're getting better, uh, but the thing is, you've got to worry about browser support, so there's all these other factors that you have to think about. Well, I'm actually not coding it with JavaScript directly. I actually was investigating a few different options for this, including TypeScript and what I decided to go with, and what I'm going with is Hakes. Hakes is, in and of itself, just a programming language, but it's based around being able to be compiled to almost any system. So you could compile to a Flash game, you could make you know, just about any kind of program or app with it, but what I'm using it specifically for is it's compiling to JavaScript. So basically, Hakes, the benefit of using it over just directly JavaScript, it has a much better structure. It's much more familiar to me. I'm used to working with Axon Script a lot. Actually, it's probably the language I have the most experience working with. And it's very similar to Axon Script 3. Now, it does have its own quirks and not the best documentation in the world. But so far, I found it much easier to work with than just raw JavaScript. So that's definitely helping uh, boost the speed of well, the speed at which I can actually get this game done. So uh, it is definitely helping, and it is coming along quite smoothly. So everything is working. Um, the coding structure it's really clean to work with. It's really simple. All it's a matter of is I'm using the tool Hakes Develop. It's a branch of Flash Develop, which was an IDE I used for a lot of games in the past that are Flash games. Well, actually, every single Flash game I've made in the past I've used Flash Develop on, just because it was a good uh, free and easy to use and very powerful tool for making Flash games. So, the Hakes Develop is a branch off of that. It's still free uh, and really easy to use and all that. So, uh, working with this setup is actually it's been really simple because I'm used to working with, as I said, Flash Develop and Active Script 3, and using Hakes Develop and Hakes, it's actually made things a whole lot easier. Now, as you probably know, uh, JavaScript does not have really the best built in tools for making games. That's why usually you, you branch out using uh, a different engine like CreateJS, Phaser, uh, a variety of other ones. Uh, now the thing is, for what I'm doing, I found a lot of those to be too bloated or not having just the right functionality for what I need. So, actually, this might sound kind of uh, like a stereotypical programmer, uh, I decided to make my own engine. Uh, and actually, it is working quite well. So, it didn't take a whole lot of time to actually get it up and running and having the functionality that I need, but it's nice and lightweight and it provides the functionality that I need. So. 
It's not necessarily complete just yet. It doesn't have anything to do with sound or anything like that, but I'll worry about that as I get to that point in the game. And as far as the music uh, in Rotate, I am making the soundtrack as you may have expected, because I do make music, I might as well make it for my own game. Uh, now, a little while ago, I actually made a test for the main theme, and it is very much exactly what I need, so <laughs> it fits the style of the game perfectly, and I'm going to be expanding upon that and making the rest of the soundtrack, so I've got a basic idea of how many songs I need, how long they need to be, and an overall feel I'm going for. And one thing that I'm keeping in mind in developing this game, I'm actually trying to emulate the feel of kind of the classic Flash games. So like games along the lines of Shift or Box Clever, I don't know if you have any idea what I'm talking about, but those are the kind of games we used to, well, me and my siblings used to play a lot when we were younger. Uh, and that's the style I'm trying to go for with this. Basically, I want when people play this game, I'd want them to not be able to tell if they're playing a Flash game or not. I just want the game to have that kind of style and feel that uh, really got me into wanting to make games in the first place. So a lot of that was the atmosphere and just the, I don't know, just some other elements to it that really made it, really made them interesting to me. So, but that's what I'm going for. And I think so far the soundtrack captures that nicely. Now I've also been working on a variety of things with concept art. I might start showing some of that over the coming weeks, I don't know. And as far as any design stuff, uh, it's coming along nicely. As I've mentioned before, I've got an idea of how many levels there will be, uh, the kind of theming of it. I hope to have a level editor in the game, just kind of uh, just a fully fleshed out game, a nice full experience. And as I've mentioned before, I have just about, well, just over a month to make and release the game. Or at least according to the current goal. I really hope to be able to match that. So, uh, yeah, just gonna get more into it, gonna get working harder and more productive. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you learned something. And I do intend to keep these going as a weekly thing. So, yeah. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, maybe a comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos from me in the near future. Anyway, I'll see you around. Goodbye.